Let's solve some simple profit and loss problems. Geeta bought 5 kilo fruits for 350 rupees. Some of the fruits had gone bad, so she sold the remaining fruits for 270 rupees. Find her gain or loss. What does gain mean? Gain means the same thing as profit. So here Geeta bought it for 350 rupees. When you buy it for something, it is the cost price. So CP equals 350. And she sold it for 270 rupees. That means it's the selling price. SP equals 270. Now you can see that SP is smaller than CP. That means she sold it for less money than she bought it for. So this is definitely a loss. And loss equals CP minus SP. You don't really have to remember what minus what. You just always subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. And because you know that the selling price is smaller, you know it's loss. So therefore 350 minus 270, the subtraction equals 80. You can do mental math here. 270 plus 100 is 370 and this is 350, so 20 less. That's why 100 minus 20 equals 80, so this is 80. Therefore, Gita incurred 80 rupees of loss. Here is the next problem. A farmer bought a goat for 6,700 rupees. He spent 680 rupees on looking after it. He then sold it for 8,500 rupees. Did he make a profit or loss and how much? In this example, if you see the cost price is really not just one number. The cost price means the total cost price. The total cost price is the total money that the farmer spent. So farmer here spent two types of money. The first is to buy the goat and the second amount is to take care of it, to look after it. That means the total cost price CP equals price at which the goat was bought plus cost to look after. So when you add these two amounts, then you get the total cost price. So let's add these two numbers. 6700 plus 680 that equals 7380 if you can do mental math go ahead if not then you can always use the regular method the selling price is just one number which is 8500 so sp is 8500 you can see that the money spent was less than the money he got that means sp is greater than cp so this is an example of profit so he had a profit profit equals sp minus cp that is 8500 minus 7380 the subtraction is equal to 1120 again it's easy to do the mental math 7380 plus 20 is 7400 and 7400 plus 1100 equals 8500. So that's why the subtraction is 1120. If you can do the mental math, it's great. If not, use the regular method. So the answer is that the farmer had 1120 rupees of profit.